one, we're going to label the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift for our function y equals one-half sine of 3x. So basically your uh, amplitude comes from this number here. We have sine. So that's your amplitude. Our amplitude is going to be one-half. Basically, you're supposed to do the uh, absolute value of that, and that gives you one-half. And let's uh, talk about what that means. So basically, if you have a unit circle, and the radius is one, so I'll go out one here. So this would be one, negative one, like that. So you do your unit circle like this, something like that. If you have one-half here, that means the radius is one-half. So it's smaller, right? And if you look at the sine function, we know that sine of some theta, our theta happens to be 3x, but it equals y divided by r, right? And so our case, uh, if you have y equals 1 half sine of, let's just put theta, then you divide both sides by 1 half, you get y divided by 1 half equals sine of theta. So this equals your r. Sorry about that. So this is y divided by r. So therefore your r is one half. So it's the same. And then of course your radius always has to be positive. Um, so therefore um, there's that. And so uh, if you look at the graph, the same thing's going to happen. If this is uh, one half and this one's negative one half. Basically, you start at the same point. There's still going to be zeros here, but then we're going to go to one half here. And so there would be your curve for that. All right. Now let's look. What else do we have to do? The period. Okay, your period is going to be two pi divided by um, three. So the period is two pi divided by b. Our b is 3, so it's going to be 2 pi divided by 3. All right, that just means that, let's look at that. Um, for the period, that means we make a complete wave at 2 pi divided by 3. So 2 pi divided by 3 is going to be, let's see, right about uh, here. Let's just make it here for now. So basically, that means it makes a complete wave. Um, let's see, I'll put it about here. I'm just sketching this. We don't have to do this. but uh, So it still goes up to 1 half here, but it's going to make a complete wave between here. Let me make that a little deeper. Okay. Also, you could say, since you have the 3 here, that make it means it makes three waves between zero and uh, two pi. So you can make uh, three waves. I can't draw very well, but so there would be one, two, three. So that would be three waves that you would have, something like that. All right. Um, also, there is no phase shift um, because the so you would write the phase shift. is 0. Because you could write this as y equals 1 half uh, sine of 3x plus 0. So then you set that, and that so your face shift. That means we're not um, shifting to the right or left. Face shift is your horizontal shift. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.